Hello, today we're going to talk about Francisco Franco. Francisco Franco was born the 4th of December of 1892. Franco was born at the coastal city and naval center of El Ferrol in Galicia, obviously in Spain. His life has always been focused on military. His father, Nicolas Franco, and her mother, Maria Pilar Ramonde, instructed a big military tradition in the family. At the age of 15, he entered to Toledo's military academy, and he went to Marecos from 1912 till 1926. He rapidly started to ascend from military rank, and in 1926, he became the youngest general in Europe. He participated in the revolution of Asturias as a commander, and after that he was against the Republic of Spain, obviously, and with some other military friends he tried a coup d'etat, but he failed. And what happened after? Well, the civil war. It began in 1936 and finished till he became a dictator in 1939. After he failed the coup d'etat, Mussolini and Hitler started to sympathize with him. That helped him a lot in the election, so in April 1, 1939, he became the dictator of Spain and their Frankism began. Hi, good afternoon. Today in the news, I'm going to talk about political and economical ideologies of Francisco Franco. Francisco Franco followed the ideology of Mussolini, the fascism. He established a repressive dictatorship that favored almost all the people, business people, landowners, and the church, the clergy. He had an authoritarian regime and also established a secret police. Franco declared Spain neutral during the Second World War. He was supported by Italian and German forces. In the political way, the Popular Front government was a Republican party against power when the party collapsed. Franco dissolved the Spanish parliament, collectivizing stores and with the limitation of freedom of speech. From 1937, every death sentence had to be approved by Franco. During the Second Spanish Civil War, the economy was divided into two and most of the industrial base and financial states were in the Republican government. At the Spanish Civil War, they suffered economic isolation, the economic resources were limited. A very hard repression began with many executions. Many political prisoners suffered of executions under the accusation of martial courts. The, que the question here is, what would happen if Franco didn't establish a dictatorship? Would the civil war start? He took back the Catholic Church as the main church. Hello guys, this is Alfonsini Nueve, and this time I'm gonna tell you something about Francisco Franco participation in World War II. Okay, First, Spain was declared neutral, but then Francisco Franco started like liking the way of Hitler thinking, you know. And these two have a meeting, so Spain and Germany unite their forces into World War II. On October 23, 1940, Hitler and Franco met in Hendaya, France, but Hitler rejected the conditions because Franco was asking for a lot, you know. Um, he wanted extensive German military and economic assistance and he also wanted uh, more territory for Spain. Okay, so also Francisco Franco wanted from Germany that they give some of their African territories and then Franco would send like 50,000 volunteers to fight alongside the Germans against the Soviets on the Eastern Front as well as open Spain's ports to German ships and submarines. Then when the Axis start having some trouble, Franco would declare Spain neutral again, but how can he do that, man? He was first in the side of Germany and then he wanna retract, that's not good. So the ONU put a punishment on Franco's country. Okay, so the ONU also placed some economic strain for Spain doing that because other countries didn't approve that. They was like, hey man, what's up? First you wanna go on the German side and then you're gonna go neutral? What's that? And then uh, after that Spain 
let Germany and Italy use their harbors. Human rights violated in the dictatorship of Francisco Franco. There are many human rights violated, but I'm gonna talk about the three most interesting. Uh, first is the Article 19, that is the freedom of expression, that is the right to say or express where you want. But because of Franco that dissolved the Spanish Parliament collectiv collectivizing stores and the limitation of freedom of speech, they can continue doing it. Next is the Article 18, is the freedom of religion. Is it there, is there right that you can have the religion you want, but because of Franco took the Catholic Church as the main church, they, they only can choose one religion. And the other article is the third article, is the life, liberty and security. Is it right that you can do whatever you want, but again, Franco wants to control all the entire societal life, so they can do whatever you want. Hey, what's up, man? This is your boy, Daniel. Between 1936 and 1939, left more than half a million people dead and led to Franco's almost four decades long dictatorship. Ruined war sites remain and living members of the dictatorship were abandoned. Spain lived very harsh and difficult moments during Franco's dictatorship. A lot of rights were violated, but the, companies, the economy somehow maintained stable and organized. Between 1936 and 1939, left more than <coughs> half a million people <coughs> dead and led Franco's almost four decades long dictatorship. Ruined war sites remain and leading members were abandoned. Francisco Franco died in November 20th, 1975. <laughs>